Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Today we are doing Pisces from January 15th through the 31st, 2020, okay? Um, these readings may or may not resonate. Uh, just remember, it is you that creates your own destiny. Do not follow the tarot daily and go by it and, oh, you know, I have to do everything a tarot reader says. No, you don't. Um, what you do need to do is find yourself and do things that you love. Do them for yourself. Don't do them for anyone else. Find your own happiness because you will, all right? So <clears throat> I'd like to say subscribe, like, comment, and share on these videos. Um, to my subscribers, um, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so this is for Pisces. These are already pre-shuffled. We're going to go ahead and do one more shuffle so I can get the energy of the reading, okay? For Pisces, January 15th through the 31st, 2020. Pisces, what's the general energy? Ooh, Ten of Swords. Pisces, I'm so sorry. You could be feeling that way right now because something has definitely happened. Okay, I'm sorry, but you know what? Lessons right now. During these moon cycles, oh my god, you guys, everybody's feeling it. Uh, let me get three cards for Pisces. Let me get three cards for Pisces. January 15th through the 31st, 2020. For Pisces, January 15th and 31st, 2020. Pisces, January 15th to the 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 31st, 2020. Anything else? There it is. <coughs> so, first three cards out. This was the first. Princess of Cups in reverse. This is the second. Two of Coins in the reverse. And this is the third. Five of the Wands upright. Okay. Pisces going through a lot. I'm so sorry. Okay, look. We got Princess of Cups in the reverse. Okay. There was a message coming to you, but it is no longer coming. Um, it could have been a message of love, but you have not received any messages, okay? Could have been in reference to a child, but I'm, I'm here realizing that the message or the premature, or any kind of message that you wanted, it's no longer coming to you, okay? We have the two, two of coins here. Now, the two of coins is juggling. Somebody is not juggling you along anymore with whatever it is um, that they're involved with. So this person could have been juggling uh, you and another person, and they have decided possibly to let you go. All right, and you're very sad about it because you wanted that message of emotions and you didn't get it. But don't worry, Pisces, because I see good things in the future for you, for everybody right now, especially during these moon phases. We do have the five of wands here, so you might be all stuck up in your head about this whole thing. Don't worry, it'll pass. You're probably going through that phase of, you know, you let go and, you know, you, everybody gets that little depression after a breakup or separation from a job or whatever. Why is this Princess of Cups in reverse? Why is this Princess of Cups in reverse? <clears throat> well, first off, you're, it's in reverse and you're going within, right? You're going within because you uh, want to heal from this, basically. It has to do with the King of Cups. Oh, and the King of Wands. And then it's... Okay, so you have two people from your past here or somebody holding both of those energy. They could have both those things in their chart, okay? Um... I do see that you are moving on from this energy, this King of Cups, King of Wands energy, and you're gonna have uh, and and you're this this person or these people, whoever this is, uh, Pisces is um, well. You could be the King of Cups actually, right? You could be the King of Cups. You could be male or female holding that energy. Remember that, okay? Um, you might have been dealing with another King, uh, possibly a King of Wands, right? People, somebody from your past, okay? So I do see that's what's going on, all right? You're not going to get a message from them, or you don't want to give them a message. You're, I think what it is is this person of the past, you might even be wanting to just give them up. Why is this two of coins in the reverse? Why is this two of coins in the reverse? Why is this two of coins in the reverse? Maybe you were hoping they would fight for you after you let them go, and they did it, and now you're feeling backstabbed, possibly. Um, but don't feel that way. Don't feel that way. They were probably worth letting go if that's the, if that's the case. Uh, what is this two of coins in reverse for Pisces? January 15th to the 31st, 2020. January 15th. Okay. 
So first we have the two of cups, all right? Two of coins, two of cups, okay? You're not going to deal with juggling. Two of cups. You're ready to give your emotions out somewhere, possibly not with the person you were dealing with. Um, you are feeling left out in the cold. Yeah, see, I, I told you. I, I knew it. Okay, ten of swords. Yeah, okay, listen, Pisces. You don't need that person. Look at what they've done to you. You don't need them. They were juggling you. And you're feeling like, oh, they were juggling between these two people, and how come I, I didn't get chosen? You know, this person from the past just didn't choose you. Uh, you feel like you, you gave your emotions to them, and they were juggling your emotions, right? They left you out in the cold, and they backstabbed you. You know, you're going to be feeling this way, this Ten of Swords energy, okay? But you'll get over it. You'll get through it. Because why? Because the universe is here right now. is doing a lot of this stuff to everybody to have them learn and realize what they're worth. And that's what you're going through right now. You're just going through a little hard time. You're going to figure out your worth. You're, you're all up in your head about things. Why is this kind of wants here for Pisces? You're up in your head, but you're going to be okay. You don't need that crap in your life. Look at how they're making you feel. All, all crappy and Ten of Swords energy. You're going to have pentacles, girl, or guy, whoever this is. You're in your head now, but it, it shows here that you are going to start building that money. Yeah, you're, you're passionate about something that's going on right now, okay? You could be holding this energy or, you know, yeah, this is you holding that energy. You're going to be like the queen of pentacles. You're going to make that money yourself, okay? You're passionate about whatever it is you're doing right now. Let me get one more card for Pisces. One more card for Pisces, January 15th to 31st, 2020. Let me get one more card for Pisces, please. One more card. There it is. Okay, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. You you planted some new seeds. You want to see them grow, okay? And it has to do with your finances, and that's good. You know, possibly needed this. person might have taken everything from you, and now you're starting to rebuild it up again. You, you, you're done with your own pity party. You're, you're, you're not going to be in your head. Right, somebody really hurts you. And you're just gonna, you know, you have your own you have options. Right? You have options. You don't need that person. Okay, you have become more passionate about something else. Let's find out what that is. Something else has stirred your passions here. Okay. Saw that three of swords right there. Did you guys see that? So yeah, you must have gotten out of this three three party situation. Good job. Or getting out of it. I know it hurts, but here we're gonna move on from this. Let me get three cards for Pisces, January 15th, 31st, 2020. Three cards for Pisces. Three cards for Pisces, please. Knight of Wands. There's that Knight of Wands again. There he is again. You know, you know, I don't know about this guy He's trying to come in, trying to re-stir up sadness for you, Pisces. I don't know. Let me get two more cards for Pisces, January 15th to the 31st, 2020. Let me get two more cards for Pisces. One more card for Pisces, please. One more card. Well, we got two more. I'll put this one back because it's furthest from the mat. So we have this one next, the Hermit in Reverse. Oh, two cards here. You know what? It's the Fool's card closest to the mat. We have the Eight of Coins here working on something. It's going back in the deck. Listen. So whatever you let go, you got um, news of passion, that this person is sharing their passion elsewhere. Okay, you got that news in. You're feeling backstabbed about it. You're not getting the emotional passion that you wanted. You're getting that he's or she's sharing passion elsewhere message, okay? You were in the hermit mode, but you aren't anymore. You went within, you've realized things, you're in your head, you're trying to figure stuff out, but you do see that there is promise in your future because we have the fool card right here. You're starting to ground yourself. You're starting to be grounded and rooted. You're nourishing yourself. You're nourishing yourself from, from earth energy, right? Safety and survival for you, right? That's what you're doing. Good job. Okay. 
And a lot of people are going through a lot of breakups, and a lot of people are finding themselves and doing a little better. All right. It's just, it hurts, but we get through it, right? Why is this Knight of Wands here, please? For Pisces. Knight of Wands for Pisces. Knight of Wands for Pisces. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Yep. So you've decided that, uh, uh, you know, somebody, you decide that you're going to be um, that woman who's independent, financially stable, and secure, right? You're walking away from whatever situation you were in. Good, good for you, though, right? Um, yeah, you were, you were feeling trapped before, but now you're not, okay? <clears throat> you know what's going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're going to snap out of this real quick because... Um, you're one that wants, you're somebody that wants to heal, but you know, you're Pisces, you're very emotional, but you'll get out of it. You'll get out of it for sure. But you'll get out of it a stronger person. Know that. Why is this Hermit in reverse, please? Why is this Hermit in reverse? Eight of Wands. You got a message from somebody about something, about being left out in the cold. Okay. Yes, we understand that. They didn't choose you. Okay. You're walking away from this. Um, you're now a single woman. You're not feeling trapped anymore. You got that message that came in quick, put you out in the cold, okay? Because if somebody wants to juggle, shoot, I'd rather get put out in the cold than to be one of somebody's juggling coins. You know what I'm saying? Let me get one more for the Hermit in the Burns. Five of Wands, okay? Up in your head a little bit about it still. Okay, don't worry. It takes time to heal. It's, you know, you're going to come out better. Why is this full card here? And there's your better right there, I bet you. Why is this full card here? Why is this full card here, please, for Pisces, January 15th to the 31st, 2020? Why is this full card here? Yup. Why is this full card here? Let me get two more. Let me get two more cards for why this full card is here. Yup. Why is this full card here? One more card, please, for Pisces. Let me get one more card for Pisces. Yup. <laughs> My gosh, I told you. I told you. Okay, look. You're going to come in contact with the Queen of Cups or King of Cups, right? Switch the energies if you need to, okay? Um, yeah, and you're going to move towards them. On top of that, with this journey, this fool's journey that you're going to have, Boom, victory. I told you, you know, you're going through a hard time. We have to go through these hard times to learn. You know, the, the moon phases or the planets, whatever they're positioning right now. Right now, it's like a, a really trying time. Everybody's stressed out and tripped out. But you know what? That's the universe that needs to come in and clean house. And that's what the universe is doing right now. Because, you know, you are going to have in the immediate future, you're going to have new love. You're going to move away from this toxic situation. And you're going to have utterly complete victory over here okay so you're going through a hard time now yes the ten of swords but you're going to come up come out ahead okay everybody who breaks up they're gonna they're lying if they say that they're not her and that they don't go through something during that time they don't say oh i broke up with them it's okay forget them you know people are you know they they're so fake they're so fake okay when you break up with somebody especially if it was somebody that you really did love it takes a minute to get over that and we understand that. So just do your healing, Pisces. And just know <clears throat> that person that hurt you in the past, appreciate them because they taught you to look out for the signs for the next deceptive people who come into your life. Right? This King of Cups is going to come into your life. Um, you're going to move towards them and you're going to have victory. But you're going to be a little guarded. And that's why? Because of this person that did whatever to you in the past. Okay? So try not to worry too much. Uh, try to heal your heart because you want to be able to accept people and not, you know, be suspicious of them. Like they're going to try and do something to you or hurt you or something like that. You know, heal yourself so you know how to heed these signs. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and find out now uh, what the universe uh, wants you to surrender, uh, Pisces, for the 15th to the 3rd, 2020. Um, oh, yeah, that was the third one. These were pre-shuffled. Okay, this is for Pisces. What does Pisces need to surrender from uh, January 15th through the 31st of 2020? It's, and I'm pulling from right here. All right. Let's see what we got, Pisces. 
like that song I'm hearing in my head. Don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. Okay, it is. Surrender to your soul's path. There you go. There you have it. So basically what's happening here, you're going through it. Okay, you're going through it. A lot of people are. You're going to come into your own power. Okay, after you start healing. Okay, when you start healing, learn to love yourself, learn to appreciate that what you just went through was a lesson, that you're not going to let it happen to, your, to yourself again. Forgive the person who did it to you. If anything in your mind, or write it on a piece of paper and burn it, write, thank you for teaching me this lesson. I appreciate you, um, and I forgive you. Burn that paper, and you can let it go off into the wind. Okay, you don't have to tell this person, you don't have to confront this person, especially if they hurt you, um, whatever. But you can for use uh, that as a for forgiveness method for yourself to quickly eliminate that feeling inside of, um, you know, hurt, right? Write it on a piece of paper, write how you feel, burn it, it's done. Let it go. So surrender to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Oh my God, I just said that, right? So appreciate what has happened. Appreciate the lesson. Because without that lesson, you might have found someone else who's toxic. And you wouldn't have been able to read the signs. But now you do. And you are like, you can be like, hey, no, no, no. I've seen this before. And I'm not going to deal with this again. Okay? But I do see you have to heal the heart chakra first. Okay? Heal the heart chakra. You know, become connected with love. You know, integrate compassion into your life. Because not everyone out there is out to get you. So you have to heal that first because you don't want to hang on to the past resentment. Because then you might bring it into the new relationship being untrusting, being jealous, you know, things like that. You don't want to bring that into a new relationship. You don't want to. Not at all. Okay, so this reading was for Pisces, January 15th through the 31st, 2020. Um, thank you for joining me uh, today. Subscribe, like, comment, and share on these videos. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will definitely see you guys next time. Bye.